Uh, now, when I talked about enemies, uh, I should explain we have to go back in, in the past again, in history. Um, there was actually the first part of Christianity, right up until about the 12th century, was exactly accurate. Um, they knew Jesus Christ died an old man, they knew he was an ordinary man basically, he had two wives and everything else, they knew all that stuff. But the Cathars in south western France and, and around the border of Spain were actually the ones that were controlling these colonies and stuff around Mexico and in the southeast part of the United States. And at that time too, the Caldi Monks also had colonies, villages and stuff around Hudson Bay and in eastern Canada. So eventually when the Normans took over England in 1066, they started going after the Caldi or uh, the other, I think they were called the Augustian monks or whatever, I'm not sure about that. But they started pushing the Caldi out of there and we ended up with a different Roman based Christianity than what we had before that. In the meantime, the clergy knew, at least in the RBC area, that Prince Madog, Gap, Owen, Gwinnett was born a reincarnation of King David and Jesus Christ. And uh, <clears throat> Henry II was already got a hold of two of his brothers and mutilated them, so he knew that his days were numbered. So it just became kind of a politics back in the 11th century, which resulted in uh, the Vatican going after them, after the Muslims and everything else, and the Crusades. It, it became more politics than it did actual fact about uh, Jesus Christ and the truth about Christianity. So um, the Caldi disappeared by the 12th century, by the middle 1250s, the Cathars were all killed by the Vatican, and the last group were the Knights Templar who were following basically the same code. So the code was always there and it stayed there, and another good representation of using the Second Christ Code is on the front of my first book here, and this is the back of the U.S. dollar bill that was coded, and once it's coded and completed, it looks exactly like this, and this actually works like the face of a clock, and this is actually tied into 1994, Revelations 5, 5, 6, 7 is when the second Christ is killed and goes to heaven. So irregardless of whether it was me or not, all of this stuff was, was there. Right? So actually God um, kept his promise, or kept their promise, of a second Christ, and used all this ancient material, and they used reincarnation. How else, other than reincarnation, can you prove the existence of heaven? And that's exactly how they did it. It's just, all I am is really <clears throat> a continuation. And when you go back and you look at the triangular number 153, it brings up another year of 2853 AD. And another person could be born in 2853 AD. Now, are we going to progress ourselves enough as, as a human race to get out to the stars or to, to other planets and other star constellations? And uh, is this man 28, in 2853 going to be born here on Earth, or is he going to be born out there someplace? And that's really something that we have to think about. And uh, I'm just uh, just somebody stuck in time, you know, in one time period right now, and just a complete continuation of the Bible and a complete renewal in your faith in God. There's a God, and there's a heaven and a hell. But you're going to have to learn the second Christ code, which is God's covenant to go to heaven in my reign, in the reign of the second Christ. Irregardless of whether the second Christ was me or somebody else, it doesn't really matter. But the criteria left in the Bible indicates that this person would have to be born in the city of Regina, around 51 latitude, 105.3 longitude. And these figures are old and ancient. They were used before the um, book of Revelations or before the New Testament was even written. And there's still more and more archaeological evidence coming up that the Phoenicians were here, the Greeks were here, and the Egyptians were here over in North America. And so um, by the 12th century when Prince Madoc and these others showed up here, they were already, you know, how would I 